Hi guys, are you facing the same issue error detail installation directory is not empty. Please install to an empty location. Go back to your control panel. Now click on the file manager. And inside file manager, you have two options. One is public underscore HTML and second one is your uh, add-ons domain that is avidmedicare.com and inside this public underscore HTML gomahamaya.com is there that is my own personal domain I'll go back to see panel I'll show you something there when you scroll down there is a add-ons domain that is a second domain that you add to your cPanel after installing your main domain if it is your main domain you need to click on public underscore HTML and you need to delete everything inside this click anywhere and click on select all and click delete before that you need to click on setting and click show hidden files because some of the time uh, times you missed to delete hidden files that's why you might get error and one more thing is that that i'll tell you click on save and now some of the hidden files you can see here you need to delete all those files now you click select all and click delete this is for the main domain if you are having numbers of domain then you need to see for which domain you found that issue and now you will see here avidmedicare.com this is the second domain that i added to my cpanel after installing my own personal domain i'll click on this and i'll select all and I'll delete this is the way to make your folder empty now go back I'll show you how to install in I'll, I got a problem installing in gomahamaya.com that was there inside public underscore HTML so I'll select all before deleting anything I'll suggest you to make a backup of your complete cPanel for that tutorial is different I have given you in the description box you can watch the tutorial or else we are not responsible for losing any data now click on delete now I have deleted my gomahamaya.com contained everything next go back to your cpanel again next scroll down and you need to search for the database inside database you have mysql open this in a new tab and open the php Maya admin in new tab inside the cpanel inside the database uh, option we have two options current database and current users you need to find out which database belongs to your which domain so that we need to go to our php my my admin click on that plus icon you need to click on the first database and you need to click on wp options and you check site url this belongs to avidmedicare.com so wordpress 4 database belongs to avidmedicare.com so i need to check for the database 5 and uh, click on WP options go mahamaya.com so I need to delete database 4 so I'll go here and I'll delete database 5 I need to del delete database 5 so I'll click delete database 5 next click database yes delete database click go back next scroll down i need to delete users also for uh, go uh, wordpress 5 i should delete users also and click delete users now click on go back and now everything related to gomahamaya.com has been deleted i'll go to my cpanel and there i need to search for the one click installation or quick installation i'll click on that and next click on select domain uh, i want to install wordpress in gomahamaya.com don't fill any directory here click next write the block title whatever block title you want to give and i fill the data i'll click on accept the agreement i'll click install bingo installation is completed this is a login id and password i'll show you how you can change this password to your required password click on that and type there slash wp admin and go and make a copy of password Type the username Rahul and there you type the password and click login and type there I don't need help and next go to users all users and there you click on this Rahul only one user is there and scroll down you will find generate password 
and there's a password they have generated you can write your password like cpanel123 whatever you want you can write here and click on update profile thank you for watching my tutorial and don't forget to hit subscribe button thank you